Welcome to round nine, Black Sky, Niowa. We friggin' made it here last night. It was kind of dark, so we didn't bother filming. Uh, we just had a good breakfast. My turn to drive, Ryan's right there. We're all set up, we got a great spot. Eric's here and Scott, I'm not sure where they are. They're somewhere, but Scott's racing. Eric's racing. Muff is here. Muff is right there. And Ryan and Uncle Lyle and all those guys are actually way down there. So <laughs> we'll probably see those guys a little later. Oh, right now me and Muff are gonna go bike the track and the wife is here too. I'll show you the wife. The wifey, where's the wifey? As the wifey say hi wifey. So we got the usual activities on Friday. We'll show you some of the track and uh, show you like the registration, anything that cool that happens. So All right, people, we ended up, uh, we, just, we rode the track a couple hours ago. Uh, we just made some lunch, showing the wife the start. The start is over here. The finish line was right there, where you saw. So the track was 9.2 miles. Everything was looking really, really good. Lots of lines everywhere. There should be no bottlenecks. Um, there was a few muddy spots, but nothing horrible. We're pretty used to the mud, so I don't think uh, it should be a problem for anybody. You can see the weather is looking great. There's no chance of rain for the rest of today or tomorrow, fingers crossed. Um, a little rain wouldn't hurt, but I know I said that last race and we got a lot of rain, so that wasn't good. But the woods, the majority of the woods is absolutely perfect, just like last year. So I think this round could be a good one for everybody. So it's gonna be fun. There's a lot of jumps in the woods, like little log jumps, little dirt jumps. They have a new enduro section that's just near the end of the track uh, with some big tires some logs some rocks nothing crazy should be pretty easy for everybody um, there is a go around so you don't have to do it uh, the go around actually looks a little longer a little shorter so who knows it could be better to go that way than through the enduro section but we'll see tomorrow there's a nice little step up just before the enduro section which is cool and then so this is the start right here this is the start and I guess we're just going to go right through those hay bales and kind of to the right. And then right in there is where you get onto the track. It kind of loops through there and then it comes back around in here. It pops out over there. Um, lots of field sections where there's great trackside parking. We're not on the track, but we're close to it. So we should have a good spot for pitting. Um, that's pretty much it. We're going to go to registration in about an hour and a half. That'll be open. Grab a... Uh, anything we need and then uh, make dinner a little bit later all right people Saturday night dinner me the wife right there Ryan right there Mike 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 right there while wow, Bridget's drinking water oh my god it's not even open Miller Light Mike what do you got water water Ryan's got a what diet cherry coke cherry coke same stuff boys steak ribs um, mac and cheese potatoes we're gonna have ice cream later, so that should be fun. Track is looking mint. I think tomorrow's gonna be an epic day. Probably, it's looking to be the best race so far this year, so we'll have some race action tomorrow. Good morning, everybody. It's friggin' race day. Boys are up. We're cleaning up a little bit, getting some things uh, put away so we can jet out of here after the race. We're gonna go uh, check out the Pee Wee Quads in a little bit. It is friggin' beautiful out breaking beautiful out and it should stay like this the whole day so i think everybody is going to be in for a really good race so we'll see you guys on the line of the peewee quads in a little bit
people it's almost go time we are running a little bit late pretty much uh every race has been about an hour late so we'll probably maybe three maybe 3 30 we're not too sure just yet bikes are still out there it's 2 30 right now pros are done but uh the other guys are still out there so we're all ready freaking ryan right there mike right there scott right there hunter heart right there is, is ready the, you ready uh, youtube TikTok. could be yeah is it you ready yeah we're good to go nice. we're ready so we'll let you know how things go after the race All right, guys, we made it home. It is Monday. Time for the not so fun part of racing. 
Um, we got home not too late, about 11, but it was dark. We were all pretty tired. Long drive home. Actually, this was one of the shortest races we had, four and a half hours, which was nice. We got home like right around 11. Um, the race did start about an hour late. First off, I just want to thank the wife. She had the camera for the big quads, grabbed a bunch of footage. Hopefully you guys enjoy it. Make sure you thank her in the comments. Definitely good to have her at the races, cheering me on and everybody else and just uh, hanging out. We did party Friday, which was fun. Always good to hang out with everybody. Um, weather was great. You can see the quad is not too bad. There's a few muddy spots here and there, but nothing like the past six or seven races that we've seen. No rain. It was beautiful. It wasn't too hot. Perfect. Track was, uh, track was really good. It got rough the last lap, but that's normal. Um, we had about 225 quads. We finally got back on the podium, guys. Pretty psyched about that. Got second. A hard-fought second. I did lead a little bit. Uh, then when I pitted, I got passed by actually three riders. Dropped to fourth. So I had to kind of battle my way back up to a podium spot. Ended up uh, passing Jesse Ward. Battled with him for, Jesus, almost a whole lap. And then... Uh, for, First, first lap actually, let's start from the beginning. So the start, I was second, which was good. Brad got the whole shot, which was awesome. Followed him for a whole friggin' lap. We were moving, we kind of checked out for a little bit. Not huge, maybe 10, 15 seconds from the rest of the pack. And then uh, right at the start of lap two, I was able to uh, find a nice inside line on a corner and got, in, got around him, took the lead. So I led all the way, pretty much the end of lap two. I stopped to get gas, I stopped too early. And then that's when um, three guys had passed me. Brad passed me. He regained the lead. And then I think it was Chris. Maybe Chris in second. And then it was Jesse Ward in third. So that dropped me to fourth. So I had to work my way back up to the pack. Lap three. Ended up passing Jesse, like I said. And then got around Brad again. And then uh, by that time, Chris was gone. Couldn't even see him. Ended up... Uh, Getting second, I was only seven seconds behind Chris, so congrats to him. He had a great race. So uh, everybody did it. it. Was fun battling with Brad, battling with Jesse. We went back and forth, like I said a couple times. So it was definitely fun. I'm feeling it today, boys. I'm hurting. Um, that's pretty much it, guys. We got a lot of video. Um, this one may take a little longer for me to get out. I'm gonna work on the race videos first. We did get a couple cameras on a couple other riders, so we'll we'll try to get those out first. Then we'll do the vlog and uh, we'll probably have to do one or two parts to this because I got peewee quads, I got mini quads, I got big quads, and I got a little bit of big bikes just at the jump section uh, before they shut it down. So we may work it this in two videos. We'll see. We'll see uh, what I can do as far as time. I don't want to make this thing super long. Um, but we do have a race this weekend. So we have a lot to do. We got to clean up, get ready, and then back at it this weekend so we don't have a lot of time to spend editing this week so i apologize for that but as always guys thank you for watching drop me some comments if you haven't yet subscribe and we'll see you on the next one all right peace